to call to order the Council's regular business meeting for June the 24th, 2019. Uh, Council just adjourned from an executive session meeting um, to discuss um, political litigation potential. Um, the invocation will be um, by Council Member McKim and the Pledge of Allegiance. Dear Lord, this evening we pray for the welfare of our town and all of its residents. We thank you for the many blessings we have enjoyed as members of this community and great nation. Grant us patience, understanding, vision, and strength as we attend to the important municipal business before us. We ask that you protect our firefighters and police whose duties without warning can expose them to great harm. We pray that you safeguard the men and women who are defending our country, especially those whose service places them in dangerous theaters of operation in foreign lands. We are grateful that our fellow citizens have assumed this awesome patriotic duty on our behalf for their predecessors whose path they followed. We pray that our national and state leaders, including the President, members of Congress, and our state legislators, will work with discernment to achieve just results for the advancement and welfare of our diverse population. Amen. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, is there a motion to approve the minutes of council special business meeting? So moved. Second. There's been a motion, a second, um, and for the regular business meeting also of May 20th. Were there any amendments to either one of those meetings? All those in favor of approving the minutes of council's special business meeting and regular business meeting of May 20, 2019, as submitted to each member of council, please indicate by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Is there a motion to adopt resolution number 11? Move to adopt resolution number 11 of the 2019 series, a resolution recognizing the 75th anniversary of the People's Volunteer Fire Company. I second the motion. There has been a motion and a second to adopt resolution number 11 of the 2019 series. Are there any comments? Any questions about the resolution? There will be a presentation following the adoption. Oh, perfect. All right. Hearing none, all those in favor indicate by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Can I have a representative from the People's Volunteer Fire Department? Aye. A resolution recognizing the People's District Volunteer Fire Company for providing 75 years of outstanding service to the Town of McCandless and area communities and its visitors. Whereas the mission of the People's District Volunteer Fire Company is to strive to preserve life and property through a professional response to fire and rescue emergencies, maintain a robust focus on training and promote a high degree of community involvement and education. Whereas, on April the 26th, 1944, Allegheny County granted a charter and the People's District Fire Company was created. And whereas, the People's District Volunteer Fire Company works day to day with her sister companies, Ingemar Volunteer Fire Company and Highland Volunteer Fire Company to provide invaluable fire services to the town of McCandless. And whereas the People's District Volunteer Fire Company frequently provides mutual aid for Ross Township, Hampton Township, Pine Township, and Shaler Township, in addition to the services provided to our residents and businesses. And whereas the People's District Volunteer <coughs> Fire Company has grown into a technologically advanced 100% volunteer company 
with just under 40 active firefighter members, with 75% of the active firefighting members possessing a Firefighter 1 certification or higher, and whereas the People's District Volunteer Fire Company has been providing fire protection, rescue services, and community education to the town for 75 years, the company still answers the same siren and, and readily provides the necessary fire and rescue services to those in need. Now, whereas the town council recognizes the People's District Volunteer Fire Company during its 75th anniversary year and thank its members past <coughs> and present for providing protection to the lives and property in the town of McCandless and area communities for all these years. Announcement number um, B is notification that a public hearing is scheduled on J July the 22nd, 2019 on the town's proposed implementable comprehensive plan. Um, another announcement, um, C, which is not on here, is I'd like to thank uh, Senator Williams for assisting the town in getting the um, phone lines raised on Ingemar that have been down since the ice, ice storm. Um, six, public hearing on the ordinance, call to order the public hearing on an ordinance to vacate a portion of North Florence Road located at the intersection of southwest corner of Cambridge Manor plan of lots and the easterly right of way of North Florence Road containing therein an area of 532 square feet. Any comments or questions from council about this? Uh, just a brief explanation for the public. Uh, this is a section of North Florence Road that was the uh, part of the original cul-de-sac uh, before the road was extended and uh, some further development done. The, the portion that's being vacated this evening or proposed to be vacated has already the asphalt has already been removed. Work is done to begin the remediation and the restoration of that um, to have uh, dirt and uh, grass put in. And uh, so there's, uh, this is no longer going to be a, a turnaround in that midway point of the block. So it's just a simple matter of basically a crescent moon being uh, uh, vacated. And why did we want to vacate this property? Well, the property is no longer being used by the town. Uh, we're, re we're retaining all of the right of way that uh, would have existed, um, the 50 foot right of way that existed. That This is just that part of the uh, the road that would no longer, or the right of way that would no longer be necessary, and it gives a property owner an ability to landscape and maintain that piece of property without the town having to, to worry about that. Are there any comments from council? Okay, this is because this is a public hearing. Are there any comments from the public about this property? All right, hearing none, we close the public hearing. Under reports and committee. I'd like to call to order the Finance and Personnel Committee. Number one, move to approve checklisting number six, dated May 9th, 2019, 
through June 6, 2019, totaling $735,015.05 as submitted to each member of council and posted on the bulletin board and town website. Second. There's been a motion and a second. Are there any comments from council? Any adjustments that need to be made? Any comments about the uh, list of bills from any citizens? All right, hearing none, um, all those um, in favor of approving the checklist number six indicate by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Number two, I'd like to move to appoint Joe Barley to a four-year term on the Technology Advisory Committee with said terms to commence on July 1st, 2019 and expire on June 30th, 2023. Second. There's been a motion and a second. Any comments? All right. Um, hearing none, any comments from the audience? All those in favor of um, Moving to appoint Joe Barley for a four-year term to the Technology Advisory Committee with said terms to commence on July 1st, 2019 and expire on 2023. Indicate by saying uh, aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Is Mo there another motion for an appointment to the Technology Committee? Move to appoint Andre Lessa to a four-year term on the Technology Advisory Committee with said terms to commence July 1st. 1st, 2019, will expire June 30th, 2023. Is there a second? Second. Okay, there's been a motion and a second. Any comments from anyone in council about this nomination? Any questions? Any comments or questions from citizens? All right, there's been a motion to appoint Andre Lessa um, to a four-year term on the Technology Advisory Committee with the said terms to commence July 1st, 2019, expire on June 30, 2023. All those in favor indicate by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Madam President, I move to appoint Craig Schenker to a four-year term of the Technology Advisory Committee with said terms to commence on July 1st, 2019 and expire on June 30th, 2023. Second. There's been a motion and a second. Um, are there any questions or comments? You can just take this second. It's not specific to um, Greg to say that the, um, the people who turned out to apply for our technology um, committee were um, over the top impressive. So we, um, again, have seen the great talent that's in, the, in our town. Um, are there any citizen comments about this uh, nomination? All right, move to appoint Shanka. There's been a motion to appoint Greg Shanka to a four year term. Shanker, Shanker, excuse me, I was trying to find his name. <laughs> a four year term on the Technology Advisory Committee with said terms to commence July 1st, 2019, and expire on June 30th, 2023. Um, all those in favor indicate by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Any other nominations? Move to appoint Mary Pearson and to a two-year term on the Technology Pearson. Advisory Committee with said terms to commence on July 1st, 2019 and expire on June 30th, 2021. Second. <coughs> Is there, um, there's been a motion and a second. There's any comments from council? Any from the audience? Okay, hearing none, there's been a motion and a second to appoint um, Marcy um, Parson to a two-year term on the Technology Advisory Committee with said terms to commence on July 1st, 2019 and expire on June 30th, 2021. All those in favor indicate by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. One more nomination. Madam President, I'd like to appoint Joe Seidel.
to a two-year term on the Technology Advisory Committee with said terms to commence July 1st, 2019, expiring on June 30th, 2021. Second. Any comments um, from Council on the nomination? Joe Seidel? Any citizen comments? All right. Um, move to appoint Joe Seidel to a two-year term on the Technology Advisory Committee with said terms to commence on July 1st, 2019 and expire on June 30th, 2021. All those in favor indicate by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. I would also like to um, appoint at this time a liaison to the Tech Committee. Um, that, la um, that liaison will be Bill Kirk. And the um, alternate will be still Steve Mertz. Number seven, notification that a letter of resignation has been, has been received from James Dougherty, a member on the personnel board effective immediately. Any questions from council? Okay. Um, all those in favor of accepting the, resi the uh, letter of resignation indicate by saying aye. 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 Just a motion to accept. Move, Move to accept to the accept? resignation. Okay. Second. All right. Motion and second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Zoning Committee moved to approve a preliminary and final land development application for the plan known as parking lot expansion Barrow Honda for Barrow Chevrolet Incorporated for a parking lot expansion located at 10432 Perry Highway as per job number 34579 pages 1 through 13 prepared by Tate Engineering dated September 18th, 2018, with the latest revision being June 4th, 2019. Second. Were you asking for a motion? I'm asking for a motion. Oh, oh so moved. Second. Okay. okay. All right. Any questions about this? We've gone over this pretty extensively. Any questions from any um, citizens? All right, hearing none, there's been a motion and a second. All those in favor of um, approving the preliminary and final land development um, application known as the parking lot expansion for Barrow Honda indicate by saying aye. 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 Opposed? The motion carries. Okay, go ahead, Karen. Move to approve a preliminary and final subdivision application for the plan known as Walnut Court Plan of Lots for Walnut Court LP located at Delt Lane Ingemar Terrace, Ingemar Road intersection conditioned upon approval of the, its Pennsylvania Highway Occup Occupancy Permit, signing of a land development agreement, and approval by the Zoning Hearing Board to permit six access other than from an arterial or collector street as, all as per project number 25448, pages 1 and 2, prepared by Trent Corporation, dated April 8th. 2019 with the latest revision being June 21st 2019 so moved that was, that was the actual that motion was the second no, no, we're in second yeah I'm not sure what we did before but this one's right Jack in second <laughs> okay we're second <laughs> the weather's got us all mixed up um, so this um, motion that um, was oh. put on the agenda we were um, originally going to vote on uh, today, but um, we do not have the um, geotech is not ready. Items number two and three on the agenda uh, are tied together, intimately tied together. Can't do one without the other. Uh, so the uh, correct, the geotechnical uh, report has not been approved. So the recommendation is that we um, table this motion and we do the same for the next one if there is a uh, motion to table that. I move to table both motions. Second. Can we do both at once? Technically, since we already have a motion on the floor, we can only table that one that's on the table. Okay. That, that would be number two then. Okay. 
Any questions about this? It'll, it'll come back up once we get all the tests that we need. Okay, questions from the audience? Okay, um, there's, there's a motion to table the uh, preliminary and final subdivision application for Walnut Court plan of lots. All those in favor indicate by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Okay, the motion is table. And for number three, you don't have to read the motion. Someone could just make a motion to table number three on the agenda. So moved. Second. Um, all those in favor indicate by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Okay, that motion is tabled also. Greg? Move to approve preliminary and final approval of the land development application for the plan known as Chase Bank for a 3,750 square foot bank with one drive up ATM located at the corner of West Duncan Avenue and McKnight Road. As per job number 4435-01, pages one through 13 prepared by Perringer McCarthy Gray Inc. Dated May 2nd, 2019 with the latest provision being June 19, 2019. Conditioned upon the purchase of the required trips to meet the transportation district trip requirements as determined by town, the town traffic engineer report, report dated June 19, 2019. Second. There's been a motion and a second um, to approve the preliminary and final land development application. Are there any questions about this? Concerns, comments from council? Any from the citizens? Okay. Hearing none, there's been a motion and a second to approve the preliminary and final approval of the land development application for the plan known as Chase Bank. All those in favor indicate by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Move to approve a revised land development plan of Giant Eagle Inc. for construction of a get-go previously approved December 17, 2018 based on proposed revisions to the traffic plans to Reichel Road at the intersection with Route 19. Conditioned upon the receipt of a Penn Pennsylvania Department of Transportation Highway Occupancy Permit. I second the motion. Okay, any comments from anyone in council? Any comments from any citizens? Hearing none, there has been a motion and a second to approve a revised land development plan of Giant Eagle Inc. for construction of a get-go previously approved in December based on the proposed uh, revisions of the traffic plan. All those in favor indicate by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Public safety. Move to adopt ordinance number 1488, an ordinance to prohibit parking on the east side of Valley View Road, including the turnaround area at the end of Valley View Road. Second. There has been a motion and a second. Is there any public comment? Any, anything from council? Any citizen comment? No? Move to adopt ordinance number 1488, an ordinance prohibiting parking on the east side of Valley View Road, including the turnaround area at the end of Valley View Road. All those in favor indicate by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Madam President, I move to adopt ordinance number 1489, an ordinance amending article 1509 of the codified ordinances of the County McCandless, fire control measures and regulations to define and establish a service fee for false alarms at multifamily, commercial, industrial, and institutional properties within the town. Second. There has been a motion a second. Any um, comments from anyone on council? Um, one comment, uh, Madam President, this uh, was uh, the direct result of input from our collective fire chiefs in the town um, to, uh, to do a, uh, um, to improve the safety by keeping our trucks uh, on the ready and not out chasing false alarms unnecessarily. Okay. Any comments from any citizens? Okay, there's been a motion and a second to adopt Ordinance 1489, amending Article 1509 of the Codified Ordinances of the Town of McCandless, Fire Control Measures and Regulations. All those in favor indicate by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. 
Madam President, move to adopt resolution number 12 of the 2019 series, a resolution amending the town's master fee schedule, resolution number 12 of the 2018, to provide a fee for a false alarm and additional fees for each subsequent false alarm during the calendar year. Second. Um, any comments from anyone in council? Madam President, this is the <coughs> uh, sister uh, accompanying ordinance uh, to the previous one that we passed that allows for a progressive uh, discipline uh, or fee structure, if you will, for recurring uh, false alarms. Motivation to prevent false alarms. Any comments from any citizens? There's been a motion to adopt resolution number 12 of the 2019 series, a, re a resolution amending the town's master fee schedule to provide a fee for false alarms and additional fees for subsequent false alarms. All those in favor indicate by saying aye. 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 Opposed? This motion carries. Move to adopt ordinance number 1490, an ordinance to vacate a portion of the North Florence Road located at the intersection of the southwest corner of Cambridge Manor plan of lots and the easterly right of way of North Florence Road containing therein an area of 532 square feet. Second. Motion and a second. This was the um, motion that went along with the um, public hearing that we just did on the North Florence property. Um, any comments from council at all? Any comments from any citizens? A motion and a second has been made to adopt Ordinance 1490 to vacate the portion of North Florence located at the intersection of the southwest corner of Cambridge Manor plan of lots in the, in the easterly right-of-way of North Florence Road. All those in favor indicate by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Madam President, I move to adopt Resolution Number 13 of the 2019 series a resolution requesting permission from the Pennsylvania Department of Transportation to place a banner across Perry Highway, Route 19, at Perrymont Road to advertise McCandless Community Day. Second. There's been a motion and a second. This is um, what we um, do to help publicize uh, Community Day. And I would ask for people to put September 14th on your calendar. That's Community Day. Any other comments from council? Comments from the audience? Hearing none, motion to adopt resolution number 13 of the 2019 series, requesting permission from the Pennsylvania Department of Transportation to put a banner across High Perry Highway at Perrymont Road to advertise Community Day. All those in favor indicate by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Any new business? Um, would the uh, resolution um, number 14, would someone like to make that motion? Move to adopt resolution number 14 of the 2019 series, a resolution for a sewage planning module for the previously approved Greystone plan of lots, which is a four lot division in Broadview Meadow Drive. This plan has been revised by Allegheny County Sanitary Authority, Alcasan, and McCandless Township Sanitary Authority, MTSA, for capacity within the treatment and collection systems. Second. There's been a motion and a second. Do you want to give a little summary on this? This is a, an approval that is required of the council uh, indicating that the council has reviewed the application. And this is essentially to allow these four lots that were previously subdivided by the, the town or the approval of the subdivision that was done previously to connect to the sanitary sewer system. So it's it's a ministerial act that has to occur, but DEP requires the council to take action on these so that DEP understands that council has reviewed this and knows that there are going to be four new connections to the system. Any citizen comment? Uh, move to adopt resolution number 14 of the 2019 series, a resolution for sewage planning module for the previously approved Greystone plan of lots. All those in favor indicate by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Madam President, 
Move to adopt resolution number 15 of the 2019 series, a resolution approving Act 537 Sewage Facilities Plan Revision prepared by the McCandless Township Sanitary Authority, subject to review for compliance with all town zoning, stormwater, and land development regulations. The project consists of the construction of a new pump station on the site of the current AB pump station, which will be returned to green space, construction of a new force main sewer, and upsizing of an existing sewer line on Shady Oak. The planning area also includes two sites in the residential areas at the end of Arden Drive and on Peebles Road at the Presidential Drive to include attractive landscaping paid for and maintained by MTSA. Is there a second? Are we, second. Are we admitting the in yes. approval of Planning Commission intentionally? Okay. Bill, you seconded. Second. Yes. Okay. There's, there's been a motion and a second. This plan has been in the works for quite a while yes. mm -hmm. and um, has to be approved by council. This is the last leg of it, I think. Um, any questions by council? Any comments about this? For, for public input, this is again a process that DEP requires of the council. MTSA will from time to time amend what is called the sewers plan or sewers facility plan that outlines how sewage will be collected tre or, and treated in the town. And you know, occasionally they make changes. In this case, the uh, authority has proposed to remove an old pump station uh, in the Arden uh, Drive area and replace that with a pump station. So in essence, it's a, it's a plus for those people in the, the area. They're no longer going to have to look at a sewer plant. They're going to have a what we hope to be an attractive pump station there. Um, and the overall system will work better, will be less maintenance for the MTSA. Um, the good news for all of us here is that they have the cash available to do the job and it will be paid for entirely in cash. So there won't be any impact to sewer rates as a result of this. Any other citizen comment? All right, hearing none, motion to adopt resolution number 15 of the 2019 series, a resolution approving Act 537 of the, the Sewage Facilities Plan Revision prepared by the um, McCandless Township Sanitary Authority. Um, all those in favor indicate by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Uh, council will be adjourning in no, we have public Wait, comment, right. public comment, excuse me. All right, this is the time of the meeting where we um, have public comment that, that does not have to be related to any of the issues that were discussed um, right now. So you can come up to the microphone, please, say your name. Joe Markle, 9499 Catherine Drive. I'd like to thank Council for the action of having the house on 9631. I'm always Bruce, manager. But there's still a lot of questions here, like the number of animals in the canvas. Uh, the ladies in our neighborhood today, she's going to be in yours tomorrow. There's no ordinance on the number of animals you can have. Numbers should be a combination of no more than five, and there should be can't have alligators, lady had chickens. She, she admitted to 20 dogs at times, she probably had up to 30. How can one person take care of 20 to 30 dogs? They go 24 7 to the bathroom. The house had to be just terrible, unsanitary, rodents, everything you can imagine. You have an ordinance 701. Uh, 0 .08, about nuisance, uh, number two, it's never been followed. Dale Brown, a lot of neighbors have called competitively, and the police said there's nothing they can do. 
the fine for $25 is a joke because she'll pay it if it's $100. Uh, but the town needs some kind of uh, ordinance about the number of pets and what the combination has to be a number. Also, her house was totally demolished. Insurance company pays her for the whole house, but she determines on her own that she's going to keep the craft room. So that was not demolished. Where does she come off stating without an engineering report that that part is safe? And if she keeps it, is that not insurance fraud? If the insurance company is paying her for square footage of her house, that was originally in a garage, and DeMore turned it into a craft room for his wife, took out the ceilings, made it go high. So she wants to keep that. So the bottom line is, you know, the lady has a right to build a house up there. But the bottom line is, she, she's up there and she likes it because nobody can see what she's doing. She can do all kinds of things without pool permits or whatever it is. And the lady, she's been a nuisance, and I've talked to my member of council, how she goes around the neighborhood intimidate neighbors with her dogs. The dogs are nice dogs because they're, they're from the shelter, but when you put them in a pack mentality and you see them on something, she don't carry bags around the neighborhood. She is confrontational with everybody in the neighborhood. And now she's on Rycor Road extension, and so I heard tell her she has 10 dogs. That's, I don't know that for a fact. But the bottom line is, she's going to be a problem no matter where she's at in town the Canis. So the easiest way to do it is adopt an ordinance with the number of pets and, and follow up with the ordinances about nuisance, barking, all this, keeping weight on neighbors up and so forth. So that I, I want to I appreciate everybody uh, giving me the, the time to talk, and I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Thank you for your comments. We do encourage any resident that is experiencing a nuisance to call and to report that nuisance to our police department. Are there any other comments by citizens? Please come up and state your name. I'm Jack Owen. I also live on Park Edge. I live across the street from the coos. I don't want to repeat everything that Mr. Markle said, but I do want to say, you know, first of all, I appreciate Mr. Beatty, and he's been very helpful. We have been calling him and telling him about the nuisance that's going on up there, but I think he does need some more tools. And what Mr. Markle talked about, um, the uh, ordinance on the number of animals, I think is very important. There's, you know, a report that there might be chickens up there. Um, you know, what's the stop? I've had a rat, a dead rat in my yard. I've had mice. This has all happened since the fire. Um, and, you know, it's just a, a garbage pit up there. And, uh, you know, it's not totally done yet. And it's been since the end of January when that place burned down. Um, so it, it needs to move along. We need an ordinance, I think, on the number of animals. We, you know, there's been a lot of things in the news. You guys have heard them alligators, all kinds of crazy stuff. Um, McCandless, I don't think, needs that, wants that. Um, our houses, I think, are probably gone down in value because of this neighbor, and it's going to happen in other places in McCandless, and it's not, people are not going to want to live here if we allow this to continue to go on. So we need to give the code enforcement people more tools to stop this. I know development's important, but our neighborhoods are important. There's safety issues, there's health issues, there's rats. I don't think, you know, McCandless is not the kind of town that should have rats. Um, that's not something that is good. Now, another thing that we've put up with in our neighborhood for, and I lived, I've lived there since 1995. They moved in in 1996. I kept my mouth shut, maybe I shouldn't, but there's been signs. You know, there's signs the size of billboards. In fact, this family has put up billboards on McKnight Road. Well, that's where billboards belong. They don't belong in our neighborhoods. We got people stopping just in front of my house, all over the place, 
just to see the signs. And the signs are still there, uh, despite, you know, there's a bulletin board, and it's a nuisance. People stop. It's not safe. There's kids. There, there's dogs. And there's traffic. And there's more traffic because people stop to see these signs. Um, the, the garage, Mr. Markle mentioned, you know, the, the place has been totaled. It just needs to be cleaned up. Again, the kind of enforcement tools that the code people need, this needs to happen sooner rather than later. Thank you very much. Appreciate you listening to me. Thank you. Any other citizen comments? My name is Alan Sakela. I also live on Catherine Drive, Catherine Drive 9516. I'm not going to repeat. I guess what I'd like to say is, um, even though there's a handful of us here tonight, um, I know for a fact that many of the people that live on the two streets that I mentioned have very serious concerns. Um, Canlis is the kind of town, we don't, we don't discriminate who can live here. But I do think, and what I want to do is, you've heard many things about many topics. I think what is most important to those of us that live in that neighborhood is that we think it's a fabulous community. But when we have a, uh, a situation where you have that many animals, uh, and unfortunately, many of them died because they weren't able to be taken care of because it, normal, in a normal residential neighborhood, you don't have those situations. I, I really want to encourage providing your law enforcement folks the tool to provide the type of guidelines for a residential community that limits the kind of situation that we've been dealing with. Think of that many dogs barking at 3 o'clock in the morning. Once one begins, and we all have experienced it. Um, that's not what should be in a residential community. So I ask that, most importantly, that you provide the community guidelines that represent what you would want McCandless to be known for, that the citizens who live there feel great about it entirely, and have the assurance that the community is providing guidelines that makes it the kind of neighborhood we all want to live in and then you've got the tools to enforce it absent of that it's a matter of opinion so uh, that's the point that i want to stress the strongest and i will tell you that there are many many other folks taxpaying folks that live on those streets that would gladly be here tonight to, to express this but i won't speak for them but i know that it is a high percentage of the citizens that live on those two streets thank you very much thank you for your comment any other citizen comments about anything at all? All right. Um, hearing, hearing none, uh, council is going to adjourn in um, to executive session. There will be no further business after um, the meeting um, to discuss. Right, right. For, um, and this will be a, a meeting about personnel. I move to adjourn this meeting. Second. All those in favor indicate by saying aye. 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 Opposed?